Have you ever wondered how Teachers Pay Teachers sellers make thousands upon thousands of dollars in their TPT store? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna break down for you one extra thing that they might be doing, and I can tell you I've tested it out and it works in my own business, and that is how to turn a Teachers Pay Teachers product into a paid workshop. This idea came to me because I had a teacherpreneur friend who kept doing workshops in her business. And she said, Molly, you should really try the workshop method. I found that teachers are really responsive to this. And what do you know? I tried it in my tutoring side of my business and I did sold out summer and that did so incredibly well. There was so much hype for it. People were excited about it. I offered high value and I delivered on a low ticket offer. And the great thing about this kind of offer is that you can continue to sell it over and over and over again. It becomes evergreen, which just means that it sits after you've done all the work creating it and can make money for you just like sold out summer is still making for me because it works year round. So I'm gonna break down for you how you can take a Teachers Pay Teachers product and turn it into a paid workshop and uh, get some pen and paper ready because you don't wanna miss all the tips I'm gonna give you. The first thing that has to be firmly in place inside of your TPT store is your niche. You have to really focus in on something that you're great at making, your teaching resources, and that you're passionate about. Because just like tutoring, it's gonna come across if you're not passionate about it, you're not gonna be excited about making new resources and you have to be really good at it for them to stand out in the market. And I do believe there's room for everybody that nothing is overcrowded, so don't overthink your niche, but really figure out what it's going to be focus in on that and get known for it. My second tip is to start posting on social media using your product or products. Maybe it's a product line. So if you're if you're in the classroom, you can show yourself using them. I consistently talk about the Daily Five on my Literacy Fundamentals channel because that's what I'm trying to be known for is helping teachers systematize their literacy block using the Daily Five method. And so I continually post about it and you're gonna wanna do the same and start getting curiosity going with people and seeing how you do things. It never comes across salesy when you're doing this because honestly, you're just helping solve a problem for people and showing how well something works for you in your classroom. And this is a great way for you to test the market out and see what's landing and what's working well and maybe what's not working well. So you're showing people how you do X, Y, Z inside of your classroom and that's going to translate into many ideas to come for your potential workshop. Okay, so kind of going along with the last tip, number three is to see what's landing. I had no idea people were gonna be so excited about the Daily Five. I just started posting about what I was doing in my classroom and people loved it. And I realized there was such a need for this kind of system and structure to literacy time. So you're gonna do the same, see what's landing, keep track of it, keep posting the same things over and over again if they're doing well, and you will get a lot of great data from that, I guarantee it. Okay, number four, you're going to start creating curiosity. So this is how you lead people into your paid offers. So let's say you are really good at math centers and you have a great system for setting it up. You are showing lots of videos about what you do, how you implement it in your classroom. And then your videos start having a call to action at the bottom to sign up for your workshop wait list. I'm really big on this because it's a low barrier entry to get people to sign up for a wait list. They don't have to make a sale right away. They might not know you. They don't have to swipe their credit card is what I mean. So they're just signing up. Then you're getting them on your email list and you can nurture them and start creating more and more hype for your paid workshop coming up. Whether you've built it or not yet, you want to start creating that hype early on. I'm telling you, you will not regret that piece right there. That's an extra tip that uh, you definitely wanna do. Okay, number five, you're going to start creating the workshop once you know what people are really hungry for and what they need based on your Teachers Pay Teachers product products and a product line, whatever it is that you're promoting, and you're going to keep building hype for that in your email list, on social media, directing people to sign up for your wait list, in your Instagram stories, just over and over and over again, and watch your email list grow. And if you saw my video last week, then you know that I talked about a TikTok video that went viral, grew my email list so much, like basically overnight. So you want to do everything I'm telling you because I, it's worked, it's proven, tried and true. And it's all free things you can do on social media. You just have to have these systems in place where you're gonna host your workshop, all of that. Um, that is definitely 
something you're going to have to figure out, but you can start building the hype. You can start creating the teachers pay teachers products. You could show how they work in your classroom. All of those things are really going to work for a paid workshop and put cash in your pocket, teaching something for one hour that you're super passionate about. All right. So if you're like, okay, Molly, great. I want to do that, but I feel overwhelmed because I feel like there's so many steps and you're right. There was a lot of steps I gave you. Are you capable of doing them all? Yes. But the first place to start is to mind map out your entire teachers pay teachers store. So once you know your niche, I want you to get some post-it notes, a poster board, a piece of paper, a notebook, anything. And you're going to sign up for my mind mapping workshop that I taught a few weeks ago. It um, was mind blowing for the people that were in it because they were like, I was so overwhelmed. I didn't know where I was going to even start. I had so many ideas and you really helped me streamline my business. And if you don't believe me, check out what Shannon had to say after she uh, took the workshop. And she's actually in my mastermind right now, but you can take the workshop for only $37 and get that first step going towards creating your future workshop too with one Teachers Pay Teachers product. So I'll leave the link below for the mind mapping. Please, um, by all means, ask any questions you have, but just get started. Stop putting it off. And in a few months from now, you could be hosting your first paid workshop and putting thousands of dollars in your pocket. And it's all because you started. So I'm here cheering you on. Let me know how it goes. You can go, go send me a DM over on Instagram and I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.